Yo, I'm Adam. This is Body Lab TV, Matt Workout. Today we're going to do something I'm just calling a fitness mix or a fit mix. Kind of like a garage sale of exercises. Hopefully they'll make sense or we'll piece them all together. But really that implies I'm using a variety of equipment here. So I got some slider discs. You might substitute hand towels. I'm going to use um, dumbbells here or any other weight. If you have more than one weight, it's nice to have two sets. A lighter set and a heavier set. Feel it out depending on the exercise if you want to switch real quick. And a mini band, my absolute favorite. Now you have some of this, all of this, none of this, whatever. Trust your own body, love your strength, and, and use your breath. All right, here we go. Let's get warmed up. So we're starting the forward fold. Stand up tall, pull your belly tight, bend your knees a little bit, and just slowly bend over. Some people just like to let the arms dangle here. Some people like to grab elbows. Turn your toes in a little bit or parallel the feet. You're not looking for a hard hamstring stretch here. So you got a little bit of stretch in the legs, but really you're trying to get your lower back to open up, loosen up, breathe. <sighs> Blood's rushing your head. Breathe. Now you can play with the shoulders. You can kind of bounce them up and down a little bit, rolling them around. This is a really good opportunity to play with the neck. So nicely kind of dangle it. Maybe let it sway around, kind of a figure eight pattern. Nicely, just trying to get the bones to open up. Hopefully reducing any tension we might have up there. Maybe some nice little turning of the head side to side. Proving circulation. And again, blood's rushing up there, so fill it with air. All right, we're going to alternate some twists. Left hand down under your face, left knee bends. Left hand down, left knee bends, right arm up, twist. Now slowly switch, right hand down, right knee bends. So we're not going to hold the twist yet, we will. For now, just try to move side to side. Now you're not really working the shoulder open so much as trying to get the back of the ribs to move. A little gliding around in the hips, that's nice. But get the back of the ribs to kind of squeeze and open up. All right, now we'll hold. So right arm in the air, you can move it around, circles. Maybe take it behind the back. And this one you'll feel a little more in the shoulder. Hmm, and then slowly let it down. Let's try the other side. Right hand down, left arm up. Find some movement, perhaps. Maybe a little wrap. Maybe carefully moving the neck around a little more. And let it go. You now lift your chest up halfway. Clasp your hands together behind your back. Try to get your palms together and your arms straight up to the ceiling. And sway a little side to side. You can bend the knees again, alternating right, left, left, right, getting a little twist. Letting that go. Inhale, half lift. Now I'm going to turn sideways. Let's have a seat. Roll up, roll down. I like to let my legs hang off the edge of the mat so they slide. Sit up tall, roll down. Reach back. Sit back up. Maybe a little momentum on the way up. Easy fold forward. Roll back down. Starting to feel your ab muscles fire up. Nice steady breath. I'm going to try to time a lot of these movements. Timing, uh, I found out, tends to be a little more consistent, especially when there's groups of you working at different tempos. But it seems to be more consistent, particularly when we do single side movements, like right leg, left leg, versus repetitions. Notice that the more people are trying to work out, the more likelihood there is for to get uneven as far as the reps, meaning the effort. You know, sometimes we do 10 on one leg, feel really good when we're fresh, and then we go around to the other leg and try 10 reps of something and then we're a little fatigued kind of cheat ourselves a little bit and that's normal but if we can work on a duration time just keep the muscles under tension and not worry about how many reps versus just trying to keep moving it's a tendency to even out the effort all right roll down knee grab grab the back of the knee squeeze other side squeeze other side squeeze not only that in case you didn't notice i talk a lot so if I keep the uh, stopwatch going, kind of keeps me in check. Let's me know, hey, we got to do something else. Let's keep moving, friends. Whoosh, keep breathing. Whoosh. You're going to put your head down here in a sec. Leg hip raises. 
One, three, two, one. All right. I need to readjust a little bit, make sure my back is flat. I'm going to keep knees bent for this one. I'm going to tap my heels down, lift the hips just a little. I don't know if you could tell, but I'm barely lifting the hips. It's actually just a little tailbone curl up. Some of you are fine doing this with leg straights. I'm still warming up, so I need to keep my knees bent. So I can get my muscles proper, muscles core engaged. Ooh. I'm going to go back to those knee grabs in three, two, one. All right. Sit up, knee grab. So hopefully you're feeling a little warmer already. Respiration, your breathing's kicked up. Got some nice heat in those lungs. Press the lower back flat. 10 seconds. We'll go back to the leg hip raises. Three, two, one. Right. Try to get really flat on your back. Pressure in the shoulder blades. I like to keep my arms in this kind of this weird robot position. So I know I'm pushing on the arms, not my neck. Breathe. Woo. And really trying to get the tailbone to curl up. It's not like you're trying to lift your entire hips section off the mat. Just feel the tailbone tilt up. So it's a tiny little curl up down there. For three, two, one. All right, legs straight. Spread them open a little bit. Mat width, maybe a little wider. Reach your arms back, take a big inhale. Exhale, crunch up. Opposite hand, the foot, touch. Other side, touch. Some of you might join me for a little leg grab. Slight, slight, gentle, subtle, little stretch. You're not trying to do a hard, I'm going to get more flexible stretch. Just a very slight, slight, subtle stretch. Trying to feel your muscle fibers open up. The more we can get them to open up, the better we can use them. How's that breath, by the way? Is that still cooking? Whew, let's see here. We got about 20 seconds left. And then we can get right into the legs. Starting with the bland, the band, blah, 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 blah. the mini band, my favorite, favorite piece of uh, portable equipment. Three, two, one. All right, grab the knees, curl up like a ball, rock and roll a little bit on your back, and then come on up to standing. All right, so take the band, put it around. Oh, I think I'm stretching this one out too much. That's nice. All right, put it around your uh, legs here. I'm gonna try to go above the knees. This is a little trial and error. I'm recommending above the knees, but depending on the band, your mobility, etc., some of you might need it below the knees. Really, you put it around, and then just take a couple squats, and then maybe make some adjustments just to figure that out real quick. All right, so let's just squat. So down, up, down, up. All right, so the hips go back. Stick your butt out. Knees are wide, not caving in. Whew. Some of you are warm already. Speed it up. My knees, uh, me personally, my knees need a little longer here, so I'm going to stay slow. Whew. With the dumbbells over here. We're going to do a monster walk coming up. I'm going to walk towards you to show you the front view real quick. Three, two, one. All right, I'm going to hold about a half squat. Some of you know these, especially if you've done physical therapy. You kind of waddle forward heavy on the heels and back. All right, keep going forward and back. Now, as you go up and down your mat here, again, the hips are back in kind of a half squat, knees staying open, not collapsing in, and your back is kind of flat. So I'm hinged forward. I'm not hunched over here. Sometimes I like to put my hands behind my back here, kind of keep my shoulders back. Versus letting him dump forward. Breathe. Back to squats in three, two, one. All right. One more time. 30 seconds each. Squat. How's that breath? Knees wide. Now, as you're squatting here, some people feel a little bit of a twinge around their kneecap that they don't normally feel in a regular squat. That might be in the band. You might need to position it somewhere else. Maybe try below the knees. See how that feels. Again, everybody's different. 
All right, we're gonna go back to the monster walk. I'm gonna just keep my band down here for now. Three, two, one. All right, monster walk. Now try not to slam on your feet. Hips back, knees opened out. Best you can, breathe. By the way, now that I move the band below my knees, I'm realizing that actually burns my butt more. Uh, that's a win, I think. Whew. All right, coming up, we're going to intensify this with the dumbbells in. Three, two, one. All right, let me bring the dumbbells in. So again, I'm going to face you. You face wherever you want. So band stays wherever you had it. Grab the dumbbells. Hang them on your, bring uh, the weights to the chest here. Start to squat. Down, up. Knees out. Now see if you can add that press up. Breathe. So if you want more cardio out of this and you feel pretty warm, kick up your tempo. If you're having difficulties talking, hopefully you don't need to, but that's usually an indicator of where your cardio level is at. All right, hold it down, bicep curls in three, two, one. All right, hold that half squat, bicep curl. Now it's that same hip position, half squat, hips back. Some of you, if you want to play around with monster walking bicep curling, that's kind of silly, but whew, I'm feeling something. Oh yeah, breathe. We're gonna do this again. In three, two, one. All right. Wasted chest. Thirty seconds. Squat. Press. Now, some of you going overhead might pinch your shoulder. So here's a variation. Bring the weights down in front. Front raise. Kind of like a, a half a kettlebell swing if you've ever done those. Otherwise, if your range of motion is good, get the press going. We're going to go back to the bicep curls in three, two, one. All right, find that half squat. It's an alternating bicep curl, by the way. If you want to join me, I'm going to try to keep the monster walk going. Abs tight. Feeling something in my booty. I'm trying to get my arms pumped up a little bit. Let's see here. 10 seconds. Breathe. Woo, yeah. Heavy on the heels and make sure you're not slamming into your toes. Three, two, one. Oh boy. All right, I'm going to set those weights down for a second. Reset this watch. All right, this one, I actually need to move the band above my knees. I need a little more range of motion. So, what we're doing here is a side step squat. So, waist to chest, step to the side, other side, other side. Now, maybe you can add a squat. Stop. Squat. All right. So, you can keep the waist to the chest, you can keep the bicep curl going. Whoop. About my mic. All right, coming up. We're gonna hold it. Do some shoulder raises in three, two, one. All right. Hold that about the half squat, shoulder raise. Open up, breathe, hips back, tummy, tummy tight. 10 seconds. I'm not sure if you can monster walk doing this if you're into that. Well, go and figure it out. I know I don't have that much rhythm, so I'm gonna stay here. Three. Two, one, all right, stand up real quick, reset, uh, find that side squat. So now, maybe you can keep that bicep curl going. And again, if you have more than one set of dumbbells, this is where you might need to experiment, finding a different weight. Too heavy, too light, make sure you can control it. Uh, we're gonna hold it down, shoulder raise in three, two, one. All right, knees out, pound a half squat, take it out to the side, abs hard, <sighs> breath big. <sighs> All right, 10 seconds here. We're done with the band, We've still got legs, still got dumbbells. We're going single side in three, two, one. All right, let me reset. So I'm gonna take the 
band off. So the slider disc, I'm only going to use one or hand towel. So it's going to be underneath the right toes. Should be able to move lightly across the surface, not really putting any pressure on it. And again, if you don't have the slider disc, you can do this without. Maybe just pretend or just kick your leg out. So slider lunge. Whew. Right foot goes back. Now this one I gotta lean forward, pull up. If I don't lean forward, my knee starts to dump over the toes. So lean forward more. Some of you, if you've got a real smooth surface and the slider's moving, go for it. Now, dumbbells. Whew. Some of you just hold on to them. Maybe you try a front raise. Whew. Now this is nice. Woo! Because it's harder. Oh boy. Also, having the weights in front kind of gives you a counterbalance for the leg going back. So leg back, arms forward. Don't worry about how high you can go. Some of you can go all the way up to the ceiling. If I do, I have a tendency to pinch my neck. So I'm going to stay here. Whew. Woo. By the way, as you're lunging, make sure you stay heavy on that left heel. I'm always trying to press through the heel. Keep the knee behind the toenails. So we got 15 seconds here. And then you're going to hold it. Or careful not to fall over like I almost did. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right, here we go. We're going to hold it down in three, two, one. Hold it down. So you can reach forward. Take a wide row. Maybe just do the shoulder raise forward. Some of you need to take it back. What was I doing? Oh, I'm going to go forward. I'm going to row out wide. Oh, boy. We're going to resume. Some slider motion here. In three, two, one. Back up. Now, this time, let me turn to face you. We're going to try to take it behind. Curtsy down. Up into a shoulder raise sideways or front. So... You can do what we did before, just lunge back and go forward. The purpose of the curtsy is just, just harder on the butt. That's all, that's all I wanted to show you. I'm actually gonna stay centered, or facing this way, excuse me. Whew. Whew. So there's always something, a little more you can do with every exercise to challenge yourself without hurting yourself. So again, feel challenged. But don't get injured. Stay calm. Stay controlled. All right, coming up. You're going to hold it down. Just try the arm movement. Maybe a little glide with the legs in three, two, one. So let me face you for this one. So you can do some kind of arm movement. Now, here's one. You can take the leg out, cross it behind. Out, cross it behind, the right leg, the moving leg. The left leg stays planted. Not really a whole lot going on there. Well, as far as moving, it's burning now. Whew. Coming up, a little RDL, Romania or Warrior Three deadlift in three, two, one. All right, let me move to the mat. So stand tall on your left leg. One of my favorite exercises, tilt forward, stand up. Maybe touch the foot lightly. Stand up. Maybe you got more bicep curl going on here. Maybe you can do it down here. You can also do it up top. Breathe. Trying to get the chest to go forward, not down to the floor. The dumbbells can reach to the floor. Woo! How's that breath? Loud and proud. Oop, almost lost my bounce. Let's get that back together. All right, 15 seconds. We're trying to forward. A little sexy back with the arms. In three, two, one. So you might need the dumbbells down on end, a little balance. Let's just hold here. You might be able to take the arms with or without the dumbbells, reach back, tap them together. A little sexy back position. 
breathe. Now, if the leg straight back is a little challenge for you, check it out. Here's a variation. Bend the knees together. This right foot stays lifted up here, but you still got all the weight on the left heel. This might be a little more controlled for some of you that are struggling with balance right now. Either way, that left butt's still burning. Three, two, one. Back up. Right back down. Breathe. Tell me, tell me. Keep your abs hard. Keep your breath cooking. Left. Make it very energetic. Whew. Notice I'm starting to lose my balance here as my booty, my booty burn intensifies. So it's not that if you're wobbling around a lot, it doesn't mean necessarily you got bad balance. It means you're working, challenging your balance, and that's what we're here to do. Challenge ourselves. Let's see here. We got uh, 20 seconds left. And then I'm going to put the dumbbells on end, a little toe tap. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. So I'm going to set the dumbbells on end, right leg back in a lunge, just using the dumbbells for a little balance. And I'm going to tap my right foot in and out, forward and back. Some of you might do this with a slider. Totally take out the impact. But the key here is this left leg, the knee stays bent, and it's not flopping around. Maybe you don't need the dumbbells for balance. You can just use hands on hips. Either way, you got about 10 seconds here. Ooh, yeah. <sighs> Going down, dog, in three, two, one. All right, let's move the equipment off to the side. Find a plank position, chest forward, then exhale. Down dog, right hand touches left foot. Inhale forward, exhale, left hand, right foot, plank, right to left, plank, left to right. All right, now let's make this a little more challenging. Add a knee crunch. So I'm gonna reach, tap my left foot, then shift forward, crunch my left knee. Other side, tap my right, crunch my right. Tap my left, crunch my left. Some of you can even add a push up here. Some of us, too, move, too many moving parts and uh, we start to get aggravated because we're too focused on what we're trying to do and we forget to breathe. <sighs> so find a nice rhythm, steady tempo, and do what you can. <sighs> Three, two, one, all right, let me turn face you. I think many of you have seen me do this exercise. Spiders, spider kicks. So kind of a plank position, knees a little bent, bottom leg kicks out, top arm reaches up. So it's really about alternating the side plank, <sighs> opening up the chest and shoulders, trying to get into the obliques. I try to add the leg kick underneath here because it fires up my obliques a little more. <sighs> Ooh, yeah. Coming up in a good 30 seconds here. I'm going to take it down to the elbows. Do some hip dips. So a little core interval in the middle here before we hit up the right leg. Ooh, 15 seconds. By the way, if you just want to be on your elbows, I forgot, I should have mentioned this earlier, and just do the plank twist. That's good too. My bad. Anyway, we got three, two, one. All right, everyone on the elbows. Dip your hips side to side. <sighs> now, again, if you want to keep the arms going, open up side plank. <sighs> That's nice. Assuming your shoulders feel okay. Excuse me while I adjust the man. I'm sliding around all over. I think the floor got waxed. All right, there we go. 30 seconds. If you need your knees down, that's okay. If uh, being on your arms and shoulders is bugging you, well then go dead bug up in the opposite arm and leg. I didn't really mean to throw in that pun, but it just worked out that way. Whew. I'm gonna go back to plank. 10 seconds. 
<sighs> we're gonna hit up the right leg next slider style in five four three two one all right come on up let me reconfigure so i'm gonna face the other direction all right so this time let me make sure i don't kick that one left foot on the slider disc here on the toes front shoulder raise here we go take it back all right up I'm choosing to do the front shoulder raise if that's okay with your shoulders, neck, go for it. Some of you might need to go sideways or do a bicep instead. That's okay too. Ooh, saved it. I almost fell over. Make sure you pull up through your abs. And always, oops, move that over. Always make sure the knee stays behind the toes. Remember, never jump forward. Big Whew. major muscles are working right now. They are screaming for oxygen. Feed them. Whew. Ooh, that one got a little hard to control. Now we're gonna hold it down. Whew. Oh boy, maybe. <laughs> In three, two, one. Hold it down. Lean forward. I'm gonna choose kind of a wide row here. Pinching into the shoulder blade, so make sure if you're doing that or any arm moving, you're not all up in here in your neck. Try to squeeze back into the shoulder blades. My slider go. All right, we're gonna go back to that lunge. So I'm gonna take that curtsy variation. In five, four, three, two, one. All right, back to lunge, back to curtsy. Now, excuse my backside, but here's what my leg's doing in the curtsy variation. It's crossing behind. Coming up, crossing behind, coming up. That's if you're doing it. You can stay centered. Regular old back lunge, slider lunge. This is good too. How's that breath? Stay heavy on the front heel. And again, as we start to fatigue, whew, See, that body control balance gets more challenged, which is supposed to happen. Don't get frustrated with it. Take it as a sign. Oh, boy. You're on the right path. Woo okay, there we go. Saved it. And again, I'm using a pretty slow tempo to maintain body control. Some of you got more mobility, stability than I do. Maybe going faster. That's nice. Work to yourself. All right, here comes that second hold in three, two, one. All right, hold it. Now maybe you kick in and out. Maybe, again, excuse my backside. You take that curtsy kick. And you know, if the arms get too distracting, whoops. I think it's stuck. Forget it. 10 seconds. We're back on the mat. Or I need to get back. Yeah, we need to get back on the mat. RD on three, two, one. All right, let me reset this watch real quick. All right. Also known as Warrior Three. Oh wait, I'm facing this way. All right. Stand on the right leg. Lean forward. Maybe tap the dumbbells. Come on up. Chest forward. Bicep curl, perhaps. Some of you might want to do more front shoulder raises or side shoulder raises. Doesn't matter, but if you got some weights in your hands, try to do something with them. <sighs> some of you, that might be a little too distracting for your balance. So forget the weights. Maybe put your left hand on the wall <sighs> as you balance on your right heel. Ooh, 20 seconds. <sighs> Make sure your chest is going forward. Avoid slumping over. <sighs> And when you lift up, give your abs a nice squeeze on the way up. That way you don't start to pull with your lower back muscles. You want the sweat from my eyes, pardon me. Ooh, that's a good burn. All right, we're gonna hold it forward in three, two, one. All right, hold it forward. Maybe do side shoulder raises, sexy back, reach back. Some of you might need to bring it down for balance or again, the alternate variation is to bring, kind of like, I don't know what we call this, fling mingo stance or whatever. Bring the knees together, keep that left foot lifted. Trying to keep this right booty burning. All right, where was I? There it is. All right, we're back up in the lift. Three, 
two, one, stand up, woo -hoo -hoo. right back down. Oh yeah, getting a nice booty burn now. I can tell, well, number one is burning, but also getting wobbly. So for me, as my butt starts to struggle through the exercise a little, I gotta slow it down so I can keep moving. So again, that's another point of timed intervals because we may have to change our tempo, but we can keep moving instead of trying to just force, say, 10 repetitions and be done with it versus maintaining time under tension. It's trying to even out all the body parts. Whole body workout here. Oh boy, 10 seconds. Oh, I lost that one. And we're gonna tap it up in three, two, one. All right, I like to use the dumbbells for balance. You might not need them. Left foot back, tap it up, tap it up, tap it up. And again, you might uh, be able to do this with your hands on your hips. Now your right knee, don't let it flop around a lot. I mean, it's got, it's bent, so it's kind of acting like a little spring. So it's kind of giving a little cushion, but don't let it dump around too much. Some of you using the slider. Reducing that impact, that's cool. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh boy. All right, I'm gonna move those out. So we're gonna go back to that down dog twist, maybe knee crunch, maybe try to add a push up for this one. Check it out. So it's always good to start in plank so you can find your alignment, feet wide, down dog. Start with a couple twists alternating. Now, whatever leg you tap, Bring it forward to a knee crunch. Then try the other side, bring it forward, knee crunch. Now somebody can do this little spider push up. Maybe with the knee crunch is a spider part. Now I don't know if you can tell, but between the down dog and the push up, I have to shuffle on my feet a little bit. Make sure I have a good stable stance. That way I don't dump it all into my rotator cuff here. I want my arm and chest muscles to help in the push-up. And if the push-up is hurting your joints, like that rotator cuff I mentioned, please don't do it. But definitely try to work your abs. Whew. Three, two, one. All right. Bring it on down. Now, spider kicks. I need to make some room here. It's the only downside of having too many props or equipment. Got to get your toys out of the way. All right, here we go. Kick it under, reach out. Kick it under, reach out. <sighs> now, again, you might need to do this on the elbows. You might just opt for just a plank twist if you're down here. Especially if uh, your shoulder joint is starting to fizzle out a little bit. <sighs> When you're losing it up around your neck. Either way, we got 30 seconds. Some of you just want to do mountain climbers. That's cool. 30 more seconds. Oh, by the way, here's a face up variation. A little toe tap. If you're tired of facing down, face up. Another fun variation. Still working. A little bit of strength, a little bit of mobility. 10 more seconds, whatever you're doing. Breathe. Hope you're breathing. That's more important. Whew. Hip dips in three, two, one. All right, on your elbows. Dip your hip side to side. So let's try to keep these alternating obliques going. Whew, I love obliques. <sighs> the effort, it's a little rough. And again, pardon me, I keep sliding around. <sighs> it's one thing to be feel challenged with the exercise, but stability. You know, like my mat sliding around or clothing issues. Whew. Sometimes you just need to get those out of the way so you can maintain your focus. Maybe open the arm, get some north side plank going. Oh, that feels good. We're gonna do some sit-ups. I'm gonna choose to use the dumbbells. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, 
two, one. All right, sit up. So I'm gonna use dumbbells. I'm gonna face you. So these, sure I don't bang my head back there. Bring the waist to the chest, roll down, knees together, sit up, twist, little punch, cross body punch. Now again, some of you might be able to kick up your tempo a little bit. Another variation, a little more challenging, butterfly the legs open. A little more challenging, but it takes out the hip flexors. Let me get back on my mat for that one, which is good. So you can get more into the abs. And also, it works a little bit of inner thigh stability. <sighs> inner thighs are a very neglected muscle group, but very important. <sighs> How much time we got left on this one? 10 seconds, please. <sighs> and then we're going to go back to our back, or lay on our back, excuse me. Dead bug in three, two, one. All right, keep the dumbbells, if you can. Roll down, arms up. All right, here we go. Opposite arm and leg extend, get the lower back down. Press the lower back down real strong, try to lift up through the tailbone a little bit. Some of you, here's another variation, keep the dumbbells together alternated scissor kick so right leg forward twist to the left center left leg forward twist to the right so you go outside the lifted leg if you need to keep your knees bent more of a bicycle motion that's cool Ooh, I almost fell sideways didn't expect that breathe if your neck is bothering you you might want to stay on your, in this dead bug position instead. You can still work your abs, but uh, careful not to strain your neck. Where's my stopwatch, by the way? Uh, oh, 10 seconds. Where was I? Oh, I'm gonna do this one. One more time, each side. Oop. All right, set the waist to the side. That's a roll up, roll down. Roll up, and let me scoot forward. I have to give my room, my legs room to slide. <sighs> so, coming up, I'm gonna flip it forward. Do a little, uh, Hip work, hip mobility. Three, two, one. So, let me face you for this one. I'm going to get into a tabletop hands and knees position. Right foot steps forward outside the right hand. Now, the back left leg, if you can straighten it out here, lunge position, that's fine. Go for it. And now, here's what you're going to try to do right arm up to the ceiling, right elbow to the big toe. Right arm up, right elbow, big toe. Inhale up, exhale down. Now, when the elbow comes down, try to hug the knee in. Don't let it flop open, hug it in. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. A couple more times, and then we'll try the other side. Some of you can do this on the left elbow, by the way. Get deeper into it. I forgot to mention that. Oh, that's deeper. All right, carefully back out of there. Let's try the other side. So, left foot forward. Your back right knee might be up or down. All right, left arm up, left elbow toe. Left arm up, left elbow toe. And really try to twist your body open. Roll your shoulder blades back, by the way. Avoid shrugging into your neck. Breathe. Oh, by the way, maybe that elbow down. Get a little deeper. Oh, yeah. Three, two, one. All right. So, hips, pigeon stretch. So, let me turn around. I'll show you the right leg first. Move the dumbbells out. So, right knee is bent. 
you're going to move it out to the side. So the alignment here, my right knee is lined up with my right wrist. My right foot is across to the left hand. So this is what it looks like from the side, kind of, sort of. So from the front view, my shin is across underneath me. The knee's out to the side. So that's the key part is get the knee out to the side, not under your chest here. Get it out as best you can and slide into it. Now, some of you, this is not accessible for whatever reason. If that's the case, roll to your back. You can do a reclined figure four or seated figure four. Again, right knee bent out to the side. But if you can get into the pigeon without your, uh, usually it's the joints that scream at you, like the knees or some of you got a, a hip issue going on. Let's avoid this one. Now this is where you got to really slow down your breathing. Long, long exhale. So all that wonderful effort we put into our workout, now we got to soak it up, let it marinate. And I want to just quit without taking advantage of that effort. Because this is where it counts. So the whole point of all that effort was to get the body to start a recovery phase because that's where the magic happens all right carefully back out of it i'm going to turn around get into your left hip stretch again settle in the side probably feels different take a moment knee is out to the side hopefully that knee feels okay otherwise you need to make some adjustments so some of you knew this some of you uh, had no idea or not that much of an idea, but the act of exercising itself, that's not where the good stuff happens. That's actually a little damaging on the body. You know, think about all that burning, micro tears in the muscle fibers, pressure on the joints. So it's purposeful because we need to create that tiny bit of controlled damage to our body because that's when the recovery systems kick on. So when we talk about flushing out toxins, burning excess calories, building muscle, lubricating joints. That happens immediately after the exercise and carries on depending on how hard we all worked. Sometimes deep into the night or into the next day. So just quitting your workout, stopping and caring about your day. It's not necessarily a good idea because you need to take advantage of starting and maintaining a good recovery or counterbalance to your workout. All right, back out of that carefully, 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 carefully. All right, if you have the band, I'm going to use it to stretch the shoulders open. Band or a towel. Some of you don't need this, so I'm going to take the band up behind my head and then my other hand is going to reach up and grab the band from below here somewhere not my microphone cable so let me try to turn around so you can see what I did here so I got my right arm up above my head my left arm up my back using the band some of you can actually are flexible enough you can get your fingers to come together without the band I'm not then I'm gonna try to keep my abs tight sit tall so this is stretching both shoulders in different directions breathe keep the tummy tight so the spine is elongated here and then carefully, oh, let it go. Roll your shoulders around for a second. Ooh, and now let's try the other side. So again, you might take a little manipulating like I need to and get into it. And just like with the hips, right side, left side, probably feel a little different. That's okay. Be easy. Again, sit up tall, nice long spine. Avoid slouching or slumping over. So the core is braced here. Need those abs still. Hmm. And then maybe you can see if you can, if you got the band, maybe you can see how fly you can fling it up to the ceiling here. Ready? Oh, that was a fail. Let me try that again. Total fail. There we go. Boom. All right, everybody. Take a little longer. Stretch whatever you got to stretch. Have a beautiful day. Thanks for joining me here for a, a little uh, fit mix on Battery Lab TV. Stay healthy. Keep loving.